Rogers bought Mobilicity in a deal worth $465 million. The company only gained 150,000 subscribers, and that's not a lot of the 29 million mobile customers in Canada. So what was in it for them? The deal was really all about Spectrum. Spectrum refers to the frequencies that carry cellular signals. The federal government controls who has the right to use those airwaves, and it sells licenses to wireless companies. Think of it as similar to radio stations applying for specific frequencies on the AM or FM dials. Ottawa also approved an older deal that Rogers struck to buy unused spectrum from Shaw. Now, if you're wondering why the government let Canada's biggest wireless company buy all of these airwaves, the answer is simple, and it's Win Mobile. Ottawa wants to see four carriers in every region of the country. It previously blocked deals that let one of the big three gobble up Spectrum from small players. But in this case, Rogers actually agreed to divest many of its new licenses, giving WinMobile a huge swath of new airwaves at no cost. Have a look at this chart. This shows AWS Spectrum holdings in BC before Rogers bought Mobilicity. You can see Shaw and Mobilicity's holdings in yellow and brown, while Rogers and Wind are marked in red and purple. Now take a look at what happened after the deal. That's a lot more red and purple. And notice how Rogers and Wind both picked up more blocks of Spectrum side by side. Why is that important? Well, think of Spectrum as a highway. You can keep a higher volume of traffic flowing on a four lane highway than on a single lane road. When you have two blocks of Spectrum side by side, you have more room for traffic. And this means more capacity and faster data speeds. Now let's look at Ontario for another example. Before the deal, Rogers and Wynn both owned 20 MHz blocks in southern Ontario. That's pretty good. But Wynn only had 10 MHz in eastern Ontario, and that's basically a single lane road. Now, after the deal, there's a lot more purple side by side. For Wynn, the advantage of having highways instead of single lane roads is that it now has the room to upgrade its 3G network, and it's going to upgrade to the latest generation of service, which is known as LTE. 